Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the number one way, in my opinion, to not only get offers, but get high offers and get them fast, right? You know, I've, I've by being successful in this avenue, I've been able to get the highest offers I've ever gotten from, from uh, potential employers the same day, you know, two, three, four hours after the interview because they were so impressed. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> I want to thank our sponsor of this video. And I actually had to refilm this because Pramp.com reached out to me and said, Dylan, we don't normally do this, but we know that your audience, your subscribers, they're trying to do better. And Pramp being a peer to peer mock interview platform where you can practice your coding interviews so that you make sure that you get those big offers and you get the, that money. Um, which is completely free, but not no, but they normally have about six times that you can do it. But with our coupon code uh, that's on the screen right now and in the description, you can get unlimited credits to practice. Not only that, not only that, there's more. But wait, there's more. Pramp, if you do well and you work through their process, they'll actually connect you with real job offers after you have proven your worthiness. Uh, but no, they'll connect you with real jobs. So not only can you get unlimited mock interviews and an unlimited practice to, to get those offers and to prepare, right? Because it's all about preparing and being prepared. But uh, Pramp will actually hook you up when you are ready uh, to um, with great offers from great companies. The thing that I have found that has made me successful and gotten you know hundred and you know six figure offers. Uh, on numerous occasions is when I kill the technical interview when I show up and I answer the question they, they give you the algorithm problem and you bam you knock it you know they give you 30 minutes you knock it out in three right you're like oh well this, this is easy right you need to you need to be that prepared <laughs> that has been what has killed it for me and gotten me offers the same day in the six figure range the mid six figure range I should say as well um, you know which I I'll have a separate video why I turned it down, but um, there is that has been the number one go to for like okay when is it that I get job offers and when are they good and when and do they come fast right where they're like oh we know we want this guy <laughs> it's when I kill the technical interview and that's Pramp is one of the ways you can do that you can do it through other uh, sites as doing algorithms as well I think it's a complete process you need to be comfortable with hey let me actually talk to somebody while I break through this problem and oh also let me go ahead and and um, you know um, solve multiple multiple algorithms every single day that's how I've, I've been doing algorithms for the last three four six months and before that maybe six months before that I was doing it and I did the same thing when I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to look for a new job. What do I need to do? Started doing code fights, started doing pramps, started, <laughs> started reviewing for t the technical interview questions. Those are easy. I don't need the review anymore, technical phone screen questions. It's the technical algorithm part, the technical where like, hey, all right, we, we're gonna give you 30 minutes, we're gonna talk to you, we're gonna see how you think, see how you problem solve. Those, if you can kill it there, if you can kill the technical interview problem, the the money will come, the jobs will come because <clears throat> they want to hire you, right? If you've made it to that point, you you know, they've checked off your personality. They've checked off, um, you know, your resume. They're interested. The last final thing here is, do you have, do you have the skills? And this is your chance to impress them really at the end of the day. Technical interviews are there to be the final check mark. Um, they are there to say, "Look, we like this guy or girl, and and now we just gotta we just gotta throw him a test." And that is the thing: you have to pass the test. And the more impressive the test, the better the offer, the faster the offer comes. Right. So if you just look at it as a like a C minus is passing, you know, um, maybe they only want A's and B's. You know, but maybe they'll accept a C, but they'll accept a C at this rate, and they're gonna think about it and you know see if how the other candidates do. You want to do so good. That they're like we don't even need any other candidates this is the guy right um this guy got an a plus 100 percent. he killed it um and and keep that in mind is when you are solving technical interview problems <laughs> you're not solving to see just because if you do poorly or you think you do poorly um understand that 
that's not always the 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 end pro like that that's not the end for you really how technical interview problems are judged is how how did you do compared to the hundred people we've given this problem to did you did you land in the top 10 20 30 percent because maybe only a top five percent solve it there's some really hard algorithm problems where you show up and you're like oh jesus i got no idea uh and sometimes people other people don't as well and that's that's fine because it's not necessarily did you write a solution but how did your solution compare to other people how fast did you come to it how much help did you need um you know what did what did you um you know what 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 did you do right what did you do wrong and but mainly it's comparing all the aspects of it of you compared to you know your peers or your you know your competition really at the end of the day you know uh so technical interviews succeeding in them and that's that's easier said than done oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah dylan just nail the technical interview just just nail it right you know that's easy no one said it's easy i study for months upon months to prep for technical interviews i do mock interviews through pramp i go on uh, code fights i do algorithms i redo them i refactor them i'm relearning it i'm building a 150 algorithm course that is uh you know reiterating through learning new ones forcing myself to grow these are all things that I'm consistently doing because I want to to get better because I understand the value of them. And sometimes people like to get a little upset. Well, you know, how relevant is it to your work? Who cares? Who cares at that point? I used to be one of those people where, you know, um, not every front end dev needs to be super good at algorithms, right? But uh, there are some roles where it just, but mainly what they're testing is your problem solving ability. And, you know, you can make that argument, like you can be the guy on the soap, but I'm not going to study for, for the technical interview because it's not relevant to the job and you can be unemployed or just get really bad offers. But if you do prep, not only will you become a better developer because you'll be able to think more logically, you'll think uh, you'll be able to become a better problem solver. You're going to get better offers from better companies. Um, and you're going to be much happier with that. Your career is going to advance much quicker if you put in the time, the prep time. And it's a lot. Uh, no one said that it's not going to be time, but you have resources like Pramp uh, to, to help prepare you because it's one of the reasons I like Pramp, other than it's different, it, it, it's, it simulates a real environment of how these things actually go and gets you comfortable. It is a very anxious thing sitting there and having someone over your shoulder. Cause it, it, look, look, you know, let me move my head out the way. This is what it's like. They're watching you. They got, you know, like the government, baby, they're watching you. All right. So <laughs> they, uh, you know, you're, you're typing your code, you're narrating your code. You're, you know, they're, you know, dropping hints and here or there, but you need to be comfortable. And the more comfortable you are, the better you're going to do in those situations. So, um, I hope you uh, hope you guys are preparing for the technical interviews because it'll do a lot for you for your career. Um, so um, with that being said, that's that's my video for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, sus subscribe, share. Check out Pramp at Pramp.com to prepare, and um, you know hit that notification bell. That's the thing as well. Good luck, guys. All right, so this isn't so much a question, but uh, I think a, a response to a, a comment. So Don Juan says on my technical debt video, why there is technical debt. Uh, I talked about some of the reasons. Very simple answer to your technical debt. Write the software correctly in the first place as, a, as an efficient entry a, as it can be written, and there will be no technical debt. That's a very simplistic uh, way of looking at things. Te technical debt is not usually a result of the developer being lazy or not trying to write something as efficient as possible. It is taking a short-sighted approach to delivering a product in an amount of time a lot of times. Or, um, you know, hey, we have other priorities. And so that's a more realistic um, understanding of where technical debt comes from. Um, so I, I think that's an oversimplistic way of looking at technical debt. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Pramp.com, one more time for supporting the channel. You Don't forget to use the coupon code Pramp.com slash promo slash coding dash tutorials dash 360 to get unlimited credits to do your mock interviews.